Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. We are going to go ahead and jump right into today's video. I am currently in my garage as you can see. I am cleaning and trying to get everything together because I have not been able to park my vehicle in the garage for approximately about a month now. So with the work almost being complete with what's going on inside the house, I wanted to go ahead and dedicate some time to getting the garage done. Not only that, I'm gonna be taking a few measurements. Not only that, Noah is working inside of the house. You might see him peek in and out while I'm in the garage, but he's doing a lot of the trim work, finishing up the base trim, getting trim put into my office, also getting trim done upstairs in the master so that way everything can get painted the next day but pretty much that's what i'm working on just in case you were wondering what's going on a few videos ago i mentioned that i was going to do like a built-in that way i can have some extra added storage you guys know that i make some changes in the house once there's actually like furniture <laughs> I will change out the pillows for spring. I will add in a little bit of fall decor. And 100%, you guys already know, for Christmas, I do incorporate two Christmas trees. I've been doing that for a while now. But I wanted to be able to have somewhere to house all those things because the attic in this house isn't as big and as spacious as the attic in the previous house. So I am lacking a little bit of storage. In terms of the house overall, I feel like it's really perfect. I do have a little bit of wiggle room to kind of grow into the house. But at the same time, some of the extras that I tend to do, like there isn't enough room for it, especially when it comes to designer samples that I have. So creating this space in the garage would really, really help with me doing my best to keep the inside of the house done. So not only am I doing the measurements for the wall unit, but then I'm also going online and I'm looking at totes and I'm checking out the sizes of these totes. That way they can kind of be implemented into the space, the width and also the length, because I don't want anything hanging over and I want to keep everything like super together. Also, really quickly, the green cabinet in the corner that I pulled over a little bit earlier in the video that was gifted to me when the guys who basically built the closet came to move the closet so in case you're wondering I don't have a location for you this is like a custom built everything used to be wood and then you know um, the carpenter pretty much made it into this unit here which I absolutely love so my plan is to do the built-in and then to change the color, I don't necessarily want it to be that green. I'm thinking of going with a deep, deep hunter green, bluish kind of color. It's really pretty. I already have it selected. So pretty much is what I'm working on.
Now that I've gotten the garage somewhat clean, I'm going to go ahead and get my car. And you guys, I'm not even going to lie to you, it feels so good to be able to bring my car back into the garage. I have been caught in the rain. My car has been piping hot. It has been a lot, so I am definitely happy to pull my truck into the garage. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the interior of the house. Okay, really quick you guys, this is what my office is currently looking like. I think I have the colors figured out. I'm not gonna tell you all the colors, especially that color right there. I wanna play around with it first before I tell you guys the color. So, the base trim, which is new, it is five um, inches high. And then I have the shoe molding. I decided to go with the shoe molding in case you guys are new. And then the crown is also five. That is gonna be done in white. Right now, if you guys saw the other night, like I couldn't sleep, so I was like, let me just unpack some of these boxes because I have boxes like all over. And instead of me focusing on continuing to renovate, let me actually start getting things together. So right now, everything that's on the bookcase is not gonna stay like this. I will take them off and start styling at some point, but I want the walls and everything to get caulked and then I'm gonna paint and then you know I can move right along. But I am really loving the color overall just because it really matches with the bookcase really nicely because the bookcase itself has this nice uh, graining on it where it's like brown and gray. It's, like, it's almost like my island. And then the wall being this really gorgeous color. I know it looks black on camera, right? It is not black. So what I did is I bought the painting that I already have from Home Goods and hold on a second. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I just feel like with the trim color, with the paint color and the bookcase, it's really gonna be like, wow. I am going to start once the office is done, like maybe once a month or something, doing like some really, really gorgeous fresh florals. Um, this one here, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it, but you guys, oh, the color looks really, really good. Again, it's not black, I promise you it's not. It actually has like a brown undertone to it. And if you ever get it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I really, really love it. Because at first, I was like, dang, maybe I want to do the ceiling and I want to do the wall. But then I was like, I don't know. It just kind of, it wasn't making sense to me. So I don't know. I'm still not 100% sure of the color. But I do love overall how it looks in here. Plus, with the window, there's a lot of light. So I didn't feel like it was going to be too dark in here. And the next thing is, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, no, Nadia, don't do it. But I am thinking about changing out the lights, the lamps. If you guys remember, it was like one was here and then the other one was here. Because of the darker color on the wall, I was thinking about going with like a gold or some sort of hardware. So instead of doing the lamps, what I was thinking is doing what I originally wanted to do. And now I feel like I can do it. But I want to find some sconce lights so the picture will still be in the middle and then I can do the sconce on either side, which is what I wanted to do originally. But I had already spent so much, you know, getting the office together that by the time it came to do the light plus that, I was just like, I already re reached um, my budget. I didn't want to do it. But since I'm already, you know, it's already done, I didn't see it was going to be like a really, really big deal. So really quickly, if you guys are new to my channel and you're trying to figure things out, the sketch of the young lady came from um home goods from home goods um the bookcase very very last one from american signature it was actually supposed to be like some sort of dining something something i don't even think it was under the bookcase i think it was with the dining and i was just like oh yes it was because this right here was oh my gosh i gotta go get that it was um wine racks do i need it I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up. But anyway, um, it was an X in the inside, so that way it could be uh, wine racks. I tried to do one or two to see how it was going to work. It didn't work out for me, but I'm not sure. I may still put one of the wine racks in there. That way I can do like my colors and samples and stuff. I don't know, but I told you guys I will be building that situation in the garage so I can have storage. We'll see how that works out. But um, 
this piece, the side table, home goods, light, home goods, the books, it's a mixture of Five Below, Dollar Tree, Home Goods. Did I say the Goodwill? Yeah. So it's just a mixture of things, decor, again, home goods between Jacksonville, Atlanta, North Carolina, and Savannah that I picked up decor and things like that. So the room was put together on a budget, but it still was pretty expensive to put together. Oh, and then this mirror right here came from Home Goods, which I will be putting that mirror back, which that's why I think it's gonna look really good, you guys, because once I put it here, it's gonna reflect some of the black and then the white. It's gonna look really good. I wish I was bold enough to do this whole entire room that color, but I just don't wanna come in here and it feels gloomy. I don't, don't want that. Um, that's pretty much it. The office is pretty much the same size as the previous. Some of you guys are were asking, about putting doors I don't know if you guys can see the hallway the hallway is not as big as the previous house so if I was to do doors and I had them swinging into the hallway it would be really really tight but then if I was to do doors and I had them swinging into the office that would take up so much room I would have to leave the doors open essentially which is pretty much what I did in the other house anyway the doors were pretty much always open which the amount that I would spend to add doors would really would be like, in my personal opinion, a waste because the doors would have to stay open because I would really be losing space here behind the door. Let me stand right here. So the doors were installed. I'd have to open it, open it. The other option for the door is possibly like pocket doors, which I'm sure is pretty expensive. That's the only way I would close off this hallway and do pocket doors and keep in mind that I do have the board and batten so that would be a whole situation just trying to configure reconfigure the wall because the opening would be closed the doors would go in and then they'd have to reconfigure all the board and batten it'd be a lot so that's not something that I've thought about in the very beginning and that's not probably something that's probably something that I won't do at all. But anyway, just wanted to kind of show you guys the office and where I was kind of heading with the space. Furniture is going to be the same, decor the same, same desk, same everything. I'm just tweaking the pink color. That's about it. But everything is pretty much going to remain the same. Oh, minus the lights, which I don't know when that's coming, but everything else is going to pretty much be the same. But I'm excited. So after looking at the pile of things around the house, I decided to make a quick run to Home Goods, and I found some really amazing goodies, you guys. I will share them in another video, but then I also stopped at Home Depot and I got some filters. Instead of getting like one, I just decided to go ahead and get, I believe I got four of each size of um, the filters that are needed for the house. That way, I wouldn't continuously be going back to the store. So I'm gonna take those and place them in the attic it. But you guys, I am so excited. I am bringing out my egg swing from Home Goods outside. It looks so good. As much fun as that was, I have to get back to work. So I'm going to go ahead and bring myself back inside the house. And the first thing that I did is, of course, try to go into the boxes and really figure out what I needed and what I didn't need. And I'm going to say need because I realized I had a lot of wants. And I really, really need to work on getting the things that I, I need and the things that I want, try my best not to focus too much on it because 
I'm not going to lie. For me being one person, I really do have a lot of things and I have been purging for the last month. I've been purging on fragrances. I've been purging on clothing. I've been purging on accessories. It's been a lot of purging. The biggest thing about all this purging is I definitely feel a lot lighter. I even went through my makeup, you guys. Like that was really, really big. I went through all of my makeup and I got rid of a lot of things because, you know, a few years ago I would do like purples and blues and I had all the eyeliners, like all those things got tossed. So I'm really trying to condense. I'm not going to say like I don't have anything, but I definitely depleted out the mass amount of things that I had. I had like four or five of things and now I only have one. So I'm really, really trying to work on that. I'm not a hoarder. I just like to have things and when they're done, I hate having to look for it. So I tend to, you know, buy one or two of the things that I absolutely love. Nonetheless, the video is coming to a close, you guys. I actually saw this dress and thought it was super, super cute. It is from Forever 21, in case you guys were wondering. I'm going to be wearing it in a couple of days because it's so cute. But that is pretty much it for the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have an absolutely amazing day.